Hey friends, welcome to my channel, let's get crafting. For this DIY, we are gonna be using three of these nautical ropes and we're gonna turn them into the coolest wreath ever. So we're gonna take the three ropes and fold them right in half and cut them because we are gonna have two lines that have three ropes glued together and we're gonna start weaving them together. Now my best tip is make sure at the very end you put a little bit of glue and twist them into place so that way they don't come unraveled as you're working with them. So once I had those all in place, I went ahead and laid down my first one on the table, and then the second one came over the top. Now I'm gluing the pieces together to make sure that they're gonna hold their form, and then the one on the bottom always comes over to the right. So you can see here that I've taken the bottom one and I've swung it over that rope, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna swing it over, and we're gonna just continue to do this over and over again, swinging it over to your right. So as you're going, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're gluing the ropes to make sure they keep their form, because we're still working in the form of a circle. This is where it does get a little bit tricky, so make sure when you're gluing, you're making sure that you're curving your rope so that it doesn't go too straight and it doesn't lose the form of the circle and you're just gonna keep doing this over and over again until you get to the very end of the rope and it comes all the way together as a circle. So here I am, I'm, I'm making my curve, I'm making my turn and this is what it looks like when I've gone all the way around. Now you're gonna take the ends and make sure they're all nice and straight and even. Glue those together, those two ends, where we started and where we ended and then bring that last one over and then tuck it under and then glue that all into place. Once it's all glued into place, go ahead and flip it over and you're gonna pick a fabric of your choice. Now I'm gonna be going with green because I thought this was really pretty and I had this green ribbon on hand and here comes Comet. He's up on my table and he wanted my attention. I kept telling him to go away and he kept meowing at me and then eventually he just hopped up on the table. So you can see that I took those pieces of fabric and I put them underneath the opening so it would show that color. And then I glued it down to a piece of foam core board. And now I'm going to exacto knife and cut it out with my scissors. I just kind of went back and forth between the two of them and all the tricky places. Be careful not to cut your rope because this rope will want to fray and come apart. So just take your time on this part and get it nice and clean where you don't see the foam core coming out on the side. When you flip it over, this is what it should look like. It almost reminded me of those baby teething rings. <laughs> I thought it was so funny because it was it was exactly that shape. Then you're gonna flip it back over and you're gonna start adding in some greenery. I love, love this frosted fern from the Dollar Tree. Anytime I find it when I go, I always pick some more up because I just think it's so pretty. So I added that with some greenery and now I'm taking three bells that I had from Target that I bought last year and I'm just gonna put some twine on them I did a little slip knot at the very bottom so that way I can make sure that it looks really pretty at the end. And then I went ahead and took all three of those, made them at different lengths, ran them through the loop of the rope, and then I added a bow. Today is a friend Friday hop, my favorite day of the week. I'm so excited you all came to join in. These are the lovely friends that are joining me this week. So many talented faces in this group. I'm so honored to call them all friends. Now the friend Friday hop is real easy. Click the link down below. It'll take you to the next channel and then that person will take you to the next channel until you hop all the way around. Make sure you leave a comment along the way on each channel because the giveaway today is a new Cricut with all the goodies that come with it. You'll see it here in this image. You have until Tuesday at midnight Eastern Standard Time to enter the giveaway by leaving a comment on each video. For this DIY, we are gonna be using some of these wood planks and these two different fonts for rub-on stickers. Now I'm gonna start by making my sides and my bottom of my box and I'm going to just trace where I need to cut the sides of my box. 
This is really easy to do. I'm using my miter box to be able to cut these pieces. You could technically cut them with your scissors too, but honestly, it would just tear your scissors up. So I'm using my miter box because I have it here on hand. Then I'm gonna add some hot glue and some wood glue, and I'm gonna just bring all of the sides together. So once I have the two long sides, I went ahead and added on the ends of the box. Doing the same exact thing, adding in the hot glue and the wood glue for that long-term, short-term hold. Make sure you get all the extra off the side so it's not spilling out and you have a nice clean finished side. Then I painted the boxes a light gray and a beautiful forest green. On the light gray, I used some of those rub-on stickers I love these things because they're so cool. It reminds me of my days when I was a scrapbooker. And then on the green box, I decided to paint on the word winter. So the gray box says, baby, it's cold outside. And then the green box says winter. I think together these are so pretty. And in just a second, they're going to start to come together where you're going to see me stacking them and doing some really cool stuff with them. So just take your time if you're doing any hand painting. I always love this because it's so therapeutic for me. I always trace it out first with my pencil and then I go over it with a fine tip brush with my white paint. Now we're going to make something special for the box. I'm going to take some of these snowflakes that they have at the Dollar Tree add one of these craft long sticks to it and then I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and go ahead and work on putting in my foam into the boxes. So I just added some hot glue at the bottom and I'm just putting them all down into place and then I'm coming in with some greenery and some snowflakes that I put on those sticks and just really dressed it up and it just looks so cute together. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Heidi from Heidi Sample DIY. This is my craft channel and I love sharing new DIYs weekly. Here on my channel, you're gonna find me posting on two days, which are Tuesday and Friday. And I post at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on each of those days. Now don't forget to come back for my 10 on Tuesday because I'm partnering up with Wendy from White Sparrow Living. I love Wendy. She's so talented. And we are doing a baby Jesus Christmas theme for our collab. This DIY is so easy to accomplish. I'm going to be taking this bell that I found at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was just a little too blingy for my style. So I went ahead and removed all the florals and the tinsel type things on top. And I also cut off that little hook that would allow me to hang it up. I just snipped that right off. And now I'm going to take some E6000 and some hot glue and I glued the handle in place so it wouldn't move. Then I took it outside and I spray painted it a really pretty light gray color. And now I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to simply dry brush all over this bell because I wanted to make sure the poinsettias were coming forward and I wanted it to look frosty as if it had been sitting outside on your door. So now I'm going to wrap a ribbon around it, add a bow, and then I'm going to come back in on the top. I added in a little craft stick and I'm gluing it into place so that I can add a finial on top of it. I thought this looked really cute and I love the wood contrast with the gray paint and the buffalo check ribbon. Then I added some pine cones as you can see there in the center of my bow and I drilled a couple of holes in the bell right at the center bottom because I wanted to be able to make sure that it was gripping onto the bell and onto the sign. So now I'm just adding in some extra glue on the sides to help reinforce it so it doesn't wiggle or fall off over time. And then I'm just gonna go and hand paint on the number 25 because I thought this would be so beautiful for Christmas time. I have a fun surprise. There is one more video coming this week, which is tomorrow at 11.15 Eastern Standard Time. I'm teaming up with some other YouTuber friends and together we all have a fun theme. These are the sneak peeks of my projects. I hope you will stop by and say hi to me. I will be going live for that video, so come on by and say hi to me just in case you miss the live today for Friend Friday. This is another easy DIY to accomplish. We're going to take this sign from the Dollar Tree, 
we're going to pop off the happy holidays flip it over and take off the ribbon and the staples once you've got all of that off and removed you're ready to paint it so i'm going to go ahead and use some white paint i'm just going to put it all over generously and i'm actually going to paint it two coats of white paint because we want to make sure it's covered nice and well and then once i was all done painting that and it was dry i took my pencil and i sketched on the letters N and then I made a space EL for the word Noel. So now I'm just going to take my time just sketching them on the way I want them to. You could always print off letters and trace them on and do it that way but I am I like doing freehanded letters for myself personally but that's only because I've just been doing it and practicing for so long. So once I had everything all sketched out I went ahead and started painting it a really pretty slate gray color. I loved how it looked on the white versus going with the traditional black that we would normally pull for with the farmhouse look. I really loved this dark slate gray color. Then once I was all done with the letters and it dried, I went ahead and took some brown paint and I'm just lightly distressing it and then coming back in with some white and going over it to make sure it wasn't too much and then I'm going to lightly dry brush over the letters because it's going to give it that frosty look for Christmas time. I think this is just so pretty. The texture really popped out on the letters. Now I'm going to take some of the garland that they have at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to twist it around into a small circle, give it a haircut, and friends, I have learned that if you do give these things a haircut, which I recommend because it makes them look more high end, do them over a couple of tissues and that'll keep them from statically clinging to your desk and going everywhere. So once you wiped it all up and it's all tidied, I went ahead and added in some pretty a lighter green than the garland boxwood because I really wanted to give it that higher end look. And then I added on a buffalo check ribbon with some pine cones. And now this is one of the reasons why I love this crocodile tool because I can punch right through this sign without any issues. So I can zip tie the wreath right onto the sign. That way you don't have to worry about it falling off or dealing with hot glue. It's just going to stay on there not having any issues. So I just went through the back, brought it up and around the wreath back down through the hole and then pulled it nice and tight and it's ready to display somewhere in your home. If you're enjoying my video, know that I have so many more over on my channel. Head on over and check it out. One of the things I do are mega videos. This is the playlist where I put all of my videos in one place so you can find them. They're so fun to watch and there's a whole bunch of different holiday themes. I'm going to link it down below so you can go and check that out. For this DIY, we are going to be using one of these cone trees that have the tinsel all over it and some yarn of your liking. And we are going to just unravel it, take it all off. Now I am going to take this yarn and I'm going to tie a double knot on it first. And then I'm going to just twist that knot underneath so you don't even see it. And it's hidden inside. These trees are so easy to make. And you just pick the color of yarn that you like the most. And you are just going to twist it and wrap it all the way around it. Now when you get to the bottom, it can get a little tricky, so use some hot glue and just take your time going around the bottom a couple of times until you've covered everything up. Make sure you don't wrap it too tight because you will find that you will use more yarn that way. It's better to wrap it loosely so that way it's on there nice, but it's not so tight that it's causing you to use double the yarn. So once you get to the end and you've wrapped it and you don't see anything poking through, go ahead and take that end piece of yarn and pull it underneath and glue it in place. Then up at the top, there is already a hole there. So I'm gonna just put in one of these shish kebab sticks and I'm going to just cut it down to size because I decided to put a finial on top of one of them and a star on top of the other. I made a large one and a small one by just cutting it down to a smaller size and then you'll have a set of these trees to display in your home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below to let me know which was your favorite. 
Don't forget to click the link down below to the next person in the hop and leave a comment. We are so excited to give away this giveaway. I hope you will enter it. Thanks so much for stopping by and until the next episode, bye friends.